With the Zmodeler brush selected, hover over a poly and press spacebar to open up the Zmodeler poly menu. Locate the transpose action. With the transpose action selected, you'll see a series of targets in which the transpose action can be applied to. By default, it is set to a single poly. Returning to the model and simply just clicking on a poly will apply the transpose action. Now after this action is applied, you will notice that you have been switched out of draw mode and are now in move mode, and ZBrush has masked all the polygons on your model except for the poly that you clicked on. This allows you to quickly come through now and deform this area of your mesh with the transpose lines. To return back to the ZModeler brush, just simply go back up here and click on draw or press Q on your keyboard and then locate another area on your model that you want to transpose, click on that surface, it will unmask that area you clicked, mask everything out, and then switch you back into transpose mode. And this will allow you to further deform your mesh. Another nice target that works well with this transpose feature is the target of Flat Island. With the Flat Island target selected, if I click on any area of this Flat Island of the mesh here, it will give me a transpose line and unmask that entire area. So this way I can come through and make large areas of a change on my mesh. And then switching back to the draw function, I can come back up and transpose another area of my model and continue making changes across the surface. Using this option will allow you to come through and make transpose changes on your model without needing to come through and manually mask certain areas on your mesh.